so here if you draw a equivalent circuit of a transmission line okay using those four primary constants resistance inductance conductance as well as capacitance okay so what is this symbol this one this one what is the symbol resistor resistor Res okay yeah good this one inductor inductor yeah inductor or inductance okay good this one it looks somewhat similar to an okay resistor now tell me what is this we have seen this g where we have seen in the fourth primary constant we have seen conductance right okay this is resistance this is inductance and this is conductance which is a combination of both capacitors as well as resistance this also somewhat similar looks like an a resistor only but g indicate conductance okay what is this you might already know this familiar with this capacitor yes capacitor or we can say this this indicates capacitance okay now these four are the primary constants okay using these four primary constants we are going to draw an equivalent circuit okay so an equivalent circuit of a transmission line always consists of four primary constants resistance inductance conductance as well as capacitance okay so if you see properly those four primary constants are form a small circuitry here over here okay where resistance and inductance are connected in series and conductance and capacitance are connected in parallel again this series combination as well as this parallel combination is again joint or combined which we are calling it as a particular at a particular point node okay now this is one port or a nodes and these are one ports or nodes okay so an equivalent circuit of a transmission line can always consists of four primary constants of a transmission line okay so an equivalent circuit of a transmission line consists of a circuitry combination of four primary constants okay which consists of resistance inductance conductance as well as capacitance.